said, I'm dragging Zeron from the Focus After Media Center interviewing the great uh, Matt Frank of IDW Comics as well as the Red Man Comics. Uh, so anyway, um, I got a few questions for you. Um, since you started the Red Man Comics and you kind of revived po more popularity with them with the um, new special and whatnot, um, will there be ever any other show like um, here that you would consider rebooting or something? I've uh, I've considered that a little oh bit. Um, we've we've around a few ideas, but uh, you know, Red Man's the big one right now. Uh, there's a couple other characters I'd love to do. And I'd love to do some really weird, obscure stuff. Like it's kind of my dream to do an Eisenborg. Oh, from comic. Toho 73, right? Uh, not Toho Sprite. Okay. But uh, Eisenborg was the anime. Oh yeah, and Tuxatsu. it has like a character based on Shimon, right? Masato Shimon, the guy who did the singer. He was known for that. I'm gonna take your word for that. Okay. That's one that's a little above my pay grade. Um, okay. But yeah, no, I just love that idea for show. But yeah, I, I love I love Super Eye as heroes specifically because they're so weird and fun. Yeah, I wish they bring him back. You know what I mean? Sure, you know, we'll see what happens, you know, yeah, I mean, like, they're, they're having a lot of success with their recent anime yeah, stuff. Yeah, and so. they're having a, like a lot of like Gridman, well, with Gridman, they're showing sure as well. They did Gridman, and they're just now starting to do the new, the, they just did the Netflix Ultraman. Uh -huh. I'm planning to um, binge watch that very soon, so. Yeah. So, yeah, um, anyway, um, have you done anything for Ultraman or anything? Or I actually have an official Ultraman sketchbook here. This is officially licensed from Superaya. I paid the royalties, okay. uh, and uh, this this is this is official. It's all super. Well, it's not technically just Ultraman. It's it's Superaya. It's a whole bunch of stuff in here. I see a lot of uh, monsters from the show. That a lot of monsters, a lot of characters. Ooh. But uh, and I see Ultraman Rube on the back. Yes, yes. This is the only Ultraman Rube uh, sketch they would allow me to put on here because. It's tricky when you're starting out because uh, it's tricky because when it, when you're doing a sketch based on a current concurrently running mm -hmm. Ultraman show, there's a lot of other sponsors they have to keep in mind. So getting stuff approved is really difficult. Yeah. But older stuff, they're like, yeah, have fun with it. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. <clears throat> so that is official, and I am doing some other possibly stuff that's coming down the pipe that I can't really talk about. Understandable. So, understandable. Yeah. Um, what got you into drawing and what not? Uh, uh, usually, um, it's just something you do when you're a kid and you're younger and, you know, drawing stuff is, it's just something you do with your hands because it just, it keeps you off the street and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, and, uh, it's just, um, it's just, it's just a lot of, it's just something you do for fun and then some people stick with it and some people don't. I was one of the ones who stuck with it and I just mm. kept drawing because I liked that. I was very attracted to the idea of creating art and creating characters and drawing my own stories and my own comics mm -hmm. Have you ever um, tried, like, have you picked you any ideas to um, Super Mario or any of the, um, the big companies in Japan about possibly doing an original hero made by you, possibly, as a, like, a short or something? Uh, that might be fun. Uh, we've kicked around that idea a little bit. Uh, you know, there's, there's, there's high concept stuff in the works, but mm -hmm. uh, whether or not it'll actually happen, I don't know. Mm. So. Yeah, who would you say was your inspiration? Like, who, were, who did you look up to when it comes to drawing? Artistically? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, one of them is here this weekend is uh, Shinji Nishikawa is uh, my my sensei. I, I've admired him for a really long time and, uh, you know, and now we're friends, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. But uh, I really I really admire his work a lot, so I highly recommend checking him out. Sure. Uh, in America, there's a couple of different artists that I've, uh, I've emulated and looked up to. Guys like Dan Brereton, Bob Eggleton, Art Adams, Jeff Rebner, and uh, Bill Stout, and just a bunch of guys that I've just worshipped growing up. So, yeah. Have you worked with any of them? Um, yeah, I've worked. Uh, we've, uh, uh, like, Art Adams and uh, Bob Eggleton have both done covers for the Godzilla books I've worked on. And I did a cover for one of Bob's books. Awesome. And then... Um, I also I've worked. Uh, I'm also working on something with uh, Dan Brereton right now. He just recently did a Kickstarter for his Giant Killer re-release, so his Kaiju comic. And then he's um, and then uh, I'm doing a piece of art for his trade paperback. His, his okay. art so yeah. For sure. And um, yeah, as we um, wrap this up, um, do you have any like um, projects or anything you want to say to the people and whatnot? The problem is a lot of it is kind of
kind of under wraps right now, but uh, Redman's a big one. I'm doing Redman Volume 3 right now. That'll be released hopefully later this year. Okay, have Redman Volume 2 been released yet? Redman Volume 2 is right there. Okay, and they're both $20 each? Yes, they are. Uh, and I'm trying to think of what else. Um, there's not a whole lot else I can talk about right now. Uh, I am working on a creator-owned original story concept that's not necessarily kaiju-related and not, it's not superhero-related. Okay. It's a completely original concept. Um, we just have to do it. And doing it is the hardest part. <laughs> so, making the time for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so anyway, um, is there, where, do you, where can we buy this? Like, you can get Red Man at uh, nightshininginc.com. <laughs> Hang on. I have to check my own book. Um, Nightshininginc.com. <laughs> Otherwise, you can just you can just Google Red Man the Kaiju Hunter and you'll find it. Oh, okay. like that pops up. Yep. Okay. And you can also order it on Amazon as well. For sure. Alright. Cool. And that's a wrap. I'll see you on the Tokyo Times Media Center. I'm going to get there. And that's Matt Frank. Hey. Everybody. Hey.